Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Lionheart Reviews, Lionheart Legends. Uh, today we're going for a tribute of uh, a actor that was loved by many people, a fantastic British actor, Alan Rickman, who sadly passed away this month uh, due to cancer. Alan was born in Acton, West London in 1946 and sadly passed away uh, this month in January 2016. Alan didn't start his drama scholarship until the age of 26, so maybe there's still hope for me yet at 31. Alan received a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in central London. Before this, he had studied and set up his own graphic design business before giving it up to follow his dream of acting. His 40-year career in acting has seen him range from stage, TV, film and even directing. Alan's first movie role saw him take on the role of terrorist Hans Gruber, alongside acting hero Bruce Willis in the fantastic and one of my mate one of my many favourite Christmas movies. Yes, yeah, I'd, I'd consider it a Christmas movie, Die Hard. Alan's gentlemanly but menacing style showed the film world that Brits were great at playing the role of villains in these type of movies. Unfortunately, Alan's acting only won him a handful of awards and no Oscar. But as we have seen in the past, it's not about the awards, it's about making inspiring, magical films that live on as classics forevermore. With one Golden Globe and one BAFTA to his name, Alan still went on to produce fantastic acting roles that made him a fan favourite and well respected in the film community. In 2014, Alan directed and starred in the film A Little Chaos, a romantic film set in the reign of King Louis XIV. 2012, Gambit. This saw Alan acting alongside Colin Firth and Cameron Diaz in a film all about a fake Monet painting that brought some great comedy moments to the screen. 2001 to 2010 saw Alan bring to life the character Severus Snape from the pages of the Harry Potter books to the silver screen. One of his best, passionate and most heart-wrenching performances saw him always put in his own feelings and needs second to allow him to do the right thing. I couldn't imagine anyone else in this role. Alan truly made this his own. 2007 saw Alan act and break into song on camera in Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, showing he's a very versatile actor indeed. 2005 and 2010 saw Alan lend his voice to the movies for voice acting roles in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy as Marvin the Robot and Alice in Wonderland as the Blue Caterpillar. Alan's voice was perfect for these roles and his depression sarcastic tones fit the characters perfectly. 2003 and Alan is making mistakes in his love life in the British Christmas classic Love Actually. In 1999, Alan was in two fantastic comedies, both held as cult classic films in the film world community. Dogma saw Alan put in an outstanding performance and my personal favourite of his performances as the Angel Metatron. The other was a Star Trek parody film, Galaxy Quest, with a great cast that gelled so well together for non-stop laughs a minute on screen. 1991. This is a role that a lot of my friends think is his best and personal achievement. He was fantastic in the film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Alan Rickman gave us a lovable, enthusiastic and evil Sheriff of Nottingham with a few tongue-in-cheek moment jokes that just made him perfect for this character and I thought put a big part in making this movie what it is. The film that started it all for Alan Rickman, 1988, sees him play Hans Gruber, the terrorist in Die Hard. 
Alan was so scary and menacing in this role that the character Hans Gruber will live on as one of the top film villains ever. That was a short list of some of my favourite Alan Rickman moments. Uh, here is the list now of all of Alan Rickman's filmography. Uh, the ones I stated before were just some of my favourite performances by Alan Rickman. As you can see from his filmography, it shows that he is a fantastic, talented actor that will live on in our memories, always.